Good morning, TK. So it's a great day in the Tilton household because look what I found waiting for me down here on the table. Donut crazy, my favorite. I mean, just look at these. Can you see them? There's a cannoli donut and a hostess donut and then this one right here, my favorite, Boston cream. I was just about to dig in and then I noticed the note. Dad, please don't eat these. They are for my friends, Elizabeth. So apparently my daughter's having some friends over and these are not for me, but they smell so good. It wouldn't hurt just to have one. And then I was thinking, well, we're still in the Lord's Prayer, so maybe prayer could help me. And you know what we're talking about today? We're talking about that part of the Lord's Prayer that says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Well, I guess I better think about that a little more. In fact, today we're going to learn that God helps us make good choices. And I really want to choose to uh, not listen to my daughter here, but I think I'm going to make the right choice if I can. All right, guys, we'll see you. Get ready to worship. Everybody stand up on your feet.
Ah, oh, finally. Peace and quiet. No more emotional Theo or Freddie, ups and downs. Bella's doing good. No drama. I am so happy. So I am going to read my book and don't bother me, Cody, okay? This is my quiet time. I've got to finish this book. No, they're all asleep. Okay, I'm all right. Must be my imagination because that's all I ever hear. All right, here we go again. Okay, now where was I? All right, okay. I don't know what I've seen. That was definitely Theo. Theo, where are you? I don't even see you. Oh, Theo, you're supposed to be asleep. I can't, Theo. It's dark in here. Well, I suggest you turn on the light. Yeah, uh, uh, all right, I'm going to do this. I don't know what you want me to see, but all right, here we go. All right, what am I supposed to see, Theo? Look uh, Look. Oh, my gosh, Bella. What happened? How did you get up there? Oh, my gosh. Theo, let me put you down. Oh my gosh, thank goodness you told me, Theo. Thank goodness you told me. Okay, Bella. Don't panic. How did you get up there? Oh my gosh. Cool, cool. Yeah, I know. I know, honey. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, oh. I know. oh my goodness. What did you do to your wings? Oh, oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to pull you out. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you poor baby. You poor, poor baby. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Oh, Bella. Thank goodness. Your wings are seem to be okay. And your tail is all right, right? Your tail is. <laughs> all right, don't laugh, David. Don't laugh. Please, Bella. <laughs> what were you thinking? I know, but you know you weren't ready for it. The doctor said another month. That's just only four more weeks away, and then you can fly wherever you want, hopefully. And, you know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank goodness for Theo. Don't tell him that. But if he didn't come and get me, you could have been there all night. You can't do something like this. What happened to you? What happened to you? I got stuck. Yeah, you got stuck. Yeah, and it wasn't funny, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so listen, in the Lord's Prayer, it said, lead us not into, temp into temptation. And that's what you have to say. You have to ask God, lead me not into temptation. And that means flying. Do you understand that? Okay. Now, you, will you go to bed and be a good girl and not climb out of bed and try to do it again? No, I'll wait. I'm waiting for this Come, come. You want to pray? Okay. Oh. Lord, I just thank you and praise you for my beautiful Bella. I thank you and praise you that she's okay. And I pray that any other time, if she's tempted to go and fly, that you just put it in her heart to stay still and to be patient on her recovery. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Father. Amen. Amen. You ready to go to bed now and go to sleep? Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, you look tired. Come on, sweet Bella. Come on. 
Super Navy night. Come on. Stories of the Bible. The Temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says, you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's so good to see you. We're talking about how God helps us make good choices. So how does God help us make good choices? Well, in the video that we just saw, we saw how Jesus had to make some choices. How did Jesus overcome Satan's temptations? Why don't you talk about that with somebody that's near you and we'll get back and I'll tell you what I think. Go ahead, you talk about it with somebody. So I wish we could be together so we could talk about what you discuss with the person that's near you. But let, let me tell you what, what I think. So he knows God's word and he followed it. He knew just what God wanted him to do and he did it. You know, it's okay to be tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. Jesus showed us to look to God for direction so we make good choices. That's how God helps us make good choices. Now. The Word of God is in the Bible, and so I've got some favorite parts of the Bible that help me um, make good choices. Are there parts in the Bible that help you follow God? Why don't you talk about that with somebody and we'll get back together and I'll tell you my favorite parts. I'll see you in a minute.
So I hope that you found some favorite parts in the Bible that help you follow God. But let me tell you, I tried to choose one, but I just couldn't. I have three and they kind of go in order for me. Let me share them with you, okay? The first one is, it's Joshua chapter one, verse nine. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Boy, I, I really love that one. And the next one is from Philippians chapter four, verse nine. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ. Isn't that great? Boy, that one too. But then there's one more. These three are like three top favorites of mine. Now we talked about this one a few weeks ago. Remember we talked about Micah chapter six, verse eight? No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Well, right there, those three verses, those three parts of the Bible really do help me make good choices. Whenever I'm struggling during the day, or I think I, I may find myself making um you know, not doing exactly what God wants me to do. Those are three of my favorite verses. There's others, but those are three of my favorite verses. So maybe you can find some things in the Bible that can help you. Um, and that's how God helps us make good choices. His word is right here in the Bible for us to follow. This was so much fun. I wish we could be together. I miss you guys so very much. Don't forget that God helps us make good choices. It's all right there for you guys. I miss you and I love you. See you soon. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So guys, I have to say that wasn't really easy waiting, but my daughter's friends came, they had a great time, and I was really glad that God helped me make the right choice not to eat the donuts, um, because my daughter really asked me not to. And you know what? It worked out for me, because I guess one of her friends didn't want it, but look, there was just one donut left, and wouldn't you know it, it was my favorite, Boston cream. Well guys, just remember, God will help you make the right choice, just ask him. And, uh, you know, he takes care of us, too, as we're learning in the Lord's Prayer. He gives us what we need, and uh, he helps lead us away from temptation. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. I'm going to enjoy this. Bye. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm super impressed that Mr. Scott left the donuts alone that whole time. And that was pretty cool that in the end he got to have a donut. And today we're talk, we talked about how God helps us make good choices. But watching Mr. Scott and listening to everyone, the question that I want to ask today in Kathleen's question corner that I have is, what happens when I don't make good choices? And what happens when I do make a good choice, but unlike Mr. Scott, I don't get the donut? What happens when I don't make the baseball team or when I don't get to play with a toy? What happens if I let someone borrow something and they break it? What if I share and I'm nice and I don't get anything in return? What happens when I decide, you know what, I'm gonna make a bad choice because it seems like making good choices is not getting me anywhere. Well, I think that's why we need the rest of the Lord's Prayer. We have to pray all the things that come before, before we're ready to say, lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil, right? We need to talk about how God is our Father. We need to remember that He loves us so much. We need to remember that He is up in heaven taking care of everything, that He sees and knows everything. 
We have to remember that it's his kingdom and we want his will to be done. We have to remember that we have to go to him every day, that he is our daily bread and we have to, that he takes care of us in that way. We have to remember that he forgives us and we forgive others. So when we make bad choices or we don't make good choices, God is still going to forgive us. We need all those things before we're ready to make a good choice and be with God in his kingdom and know that even sometimes when we make good choices, that doesn't mean we're going to get the donut. It doesn't mean we're going to get the part we want. It doesn't mean we're going to get the thing we want. Sometimes we do, like with Mr. Scott, but sometimes we don't. But the most important thing is that God is with us through it all no matter what. And that when we mess up, he's going to forgive us. And that is the most amazing news ever. Let's pray together. God, we thank you that you help guide our steps and our direction. We thank you that you help us to make good choices in our lives, with our families, with our friends, and with what we do. We thank you that even when we don't make good choices, you still love us so much and you forgive us no matter what. In your name I pray, amen. Come around All of his blessings that come on down